Well, at the moment, it's very hard to find crews, so we need you all to finish and get out there because there's so much work being done um, in England and Ireland, uh, and I think America has the same problem, and all over Europe, in fact, uh, with the Netflix and Amazon productions, and they're sucking in all the crews, and it's very difficult um, to find good crews to make uh, smaller, um, what you might call, art films. So that has changed. Um, I think actors tend to be used more as commodities now. There are less actors who have uh, working who have a, a broad uh, experience of working in theatre and working uh, outside film. Uh, so that has changed the feeling slightly. Um, but otherwise, I think we're still just trying to make good stories and do them well. Well, I, I, I've made quite a few films which are based on literary works. Um, and it's always interesting to compare the work, the book, with the film. It's, it's very hard telling a long, complicated novel in two and a half hours. Um, years ago, I made a series called The Retour de Brideshead for, for television, and we, uh, a moder moderate-sized novel, we shot for, uh, we, 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 our finished film was 13 hours long to cover a novel, and that's what you're able to do with television. Film, you have to compress. So what Harold Pinter used to do, and I worked quite a bit with him as a, both an actor and a director and as a, an adapter, but when he came to adapt, he would read the book two or three times, close it, put it away, wait for some weeks, and then write what he could remember. So the, the moments in the work that really touched him, the, he, he, would, he would then, and he'd create his structure, then he'd obviously go back to the book and check dialogue and that sort of thing, but that's a good way to adapt, I think. You know, stories in a way, whether they're on the printed page or whether on the screen, they're a, 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 a vacance, uh, la vie, holiday, and allows, as when we go away on holiday, and we go back to our situation, whether it be at college or work or whatever, we see our lives differently because we've been away. Um, and uh, I think great writers, great thinkers, they take, they don't necessarily have to move geographically, but they take pause out of life to think and to allow the experiences we have to gestate before coming back to life and seeing life a little differently. I worry that your generation, uh, this is a generalization, but, but you spend too much time with screens and with uh, with with the, the the speed of life, I think COVID was very good for all of us because it made us stop. And I think that's what one has to do in life: you stop when you go to the cinema, or you go into a different world. It is a world of dreams, yes. Um, it is uh, a world of dreams, which, as our dreams affect us and are affected by our lives so does, does art affect us in the same ways. It's always good, that cross-fertilization, to, to, to discover. I mean, we, we make stories for an audience, therefore to hear the effect they've had on the audience is very important. Um, 
what has worked, what has not worked. Uh, it, was, it was very interesting. I mean, last night we they screened a, a film called An Amour de Swan, Swan in Love, based on the Proust. And sadly, the only screen, they sh the only uh, version they could get was an English version, which destroyed the film. Um, I didn't stay to ask the audience how much they'd enjoyed it. I, I couldn't bear to watch it. Um, it was bad that we used that print. We should have used the original, where we're all speaking French because it's such a French subject. Um, but in the morning we showed uh, The House of the Spirits, Billy August movie, and it was great to get feedback from the audience and to see what had moved them. It's, a, you know, f filmmaking, storytelling is a communication. It's not a one-way thing. So often people think that it's, you know, a load of people doing something and a load of people watching, but it's not. It's that. That's what one is trying to do, to share ideas, to share thoughts, to share dreams. And so the response of the audience is a very important part. Mm -hmm. And to have the luxury of being here with people who love film mm -hmm. and to talk about specific films is, is great. I was very pleased that both French Lieutenant's Woman and House of the Spirit seemed to... Well, French Lieutenant was, it was a success when it came out. House of the Spirit wasn't. And yet, I think in time, it has become a, a more accessible film and maybe a more important film than it was judged when it was released. So things do change. In some films, the other thing happens, you know? You know, an actor, in those days you would you train to be an actor and then you went and worked in the theater. And maybe you, you did some television, um, but to move into the world of movies was a big step and a step I never thought I'd make because when I started, I was the sort of actor who had been used in the 30s and the 40s, but not in the 70s, where uh, the working class actor, the, uh, people like Tom Courtney, Albert Finney, um, were being appreciated on the screen and not so to speak, more of the English gentleman. But that, that changed, that fashion changed, and so they needed actors like me, and I was able to, uh, to go and work in cinema. Oh, I don't know, it's, it's very pleasant to receive awards, but, um, and we're all trying to make our work as good as possible. And an award makes you feel it's appreciated. Um, it doesn't really change you as an actor, but it's very nice to have.